Hey everyone, how is it going? We've got some cool news to talk about regarding The Predator, which many people, you know, had mixed feelings on since it's come out now, but there is actually some really cool conceptual artwork that's been done for the film. I mean, kind of like with all of the Alien and Predator films, a lot of stuff left on the cutting room floor that you just kind of wonder what could have been when this artwork surfaces. And that's no different with The Predator. There was a lot of design work done for creatures and, you know, the new look of the Yautja in this film, the up himself, the ships, all of that kind of technology, but one thing that was left out of the final theatrical cut of the film was the Predator hybrids that were going to be utilized by the upgrade. So essentially in the early script for the Predator that leaked back in 2016 if I remember correctly, there was a lot of stuff that involved hybridization in that version, which kind of got toned down and dialed back a bit in the final cut. The upgrade himself was going to be transporting several hybridized Predators Predator creatures on the Ark, which is the ship that he was trying to get back in the film. Some of those that we could have seen in the film would have been a bat predator, a spider predator, a lizard predator, and a monkey predator. So far, the only artwork that's actually surfaced and designed stuff has been for the monkey predators, which were actually designed by Constantine Sicaris. The artwork is actually pretty cool, it's quite disturbing to see what a monkey predator creature could look like, you know, it's got six limbs to it, it's got a tail, it has the mandibles with its mouth and everything, it just looks really freaky and just disturbing. And you have to kind of wonder what angle they were going with, you know, with the upgrade having his uh, kind of menagerie of hybrid creatures and unleashing them on the loonies at the end of the film, you know, during the old third act when they actually had the friendly predator emissaries working alongside them, they were on the APC tanks and Humvees, chasing after the upgrade and he let loose all of these crazy hybrid creatures, in addition to the dogs that he also had in the film. So again, this artwork is cool and kind of gives you a glimpse of what could have been. I don't know how to feel about like monkey predators, but I think that some of the other ones kind of would have been interesting to see, like the bats, you know, flying predator creature things, or spider predator. I mean, just some of the stuff sounds so wacky, but it, I mean, it was all designed and made up by the guys behind Monster Squad, you know, Shane Black and Fred Decker wrote the script, came up with all these hybrid ideas and stuff, and I think that, you know, aspect of the film would have been a tough pill to swallow, but I think it could have been kind of fun if done properly, but I mean, who knows really, all of this stuff was super early on in the process. We don't even know if these monkeys even made it to the first cut of the film, which was test screened a while ago. I mean, as we all know, this film did go through tons of different test screenings and edits and re-edits and reshoots and things, so tons of stuff was jumbled around. Who knows how long these hybrid things were even in the film, but what do you guys think about this? Post your thoughts down in the comments below. How do you feel about Predator hybridized animal creatures being in the film and do you think that the studio was right in taking them out going in a different direction focusing more on the upgrade himself and the dogs that he brought with him for more updates on everything alien and predator be sure to subscribe to hn entertainment